So hello everyone. Uh, my name is Valery. Uh, I'm a software engineer in Red Hat. I'm working on Eclipse Share project. So a few words about Eclipse Share. Uh, Eclipse Share is a developer workspace server uh, and cloud IDE. It provides workspace that include runtimes and IDEs. Also, uh, it's a browser-based IDE and uh, plugins for languages, frameworks, and tools, and SDK for creating plugins and uh, assemblies. The IDE is based on Eclipse TE, uh, which is written in TypeScript and uh, clearly separates the UI and uh, UI frontend from the backend. Uh, Thea provides the v VS Code uh, experience in the browser, and uh, developers familiar, familiar with uh, Microsoft's great editor uh, will find many familiar uh, features and uh, uh, concepts to minimize the gap uh, when switching between uh, desktop and cloud environment. Uh, we have extended Thea to enable uh, runtime loading of VS Code extensions. Our Thea plugin API is very close to VS Code API, and uh, we can run VS Code extensions in Thea backend, as a Thea backend plugin. So I have a short demo uh, to demonstrate how to deploy uh, SonarLint VS Code extension into Chia as a plugin. Uh, SonarLint is uh, an IDE extension uh, that helps you to detect and fix quality issues. So I prepared a quick video. So here is Eclipse here, it is the dashboard when we can create the workspace by choosing custom stack. Uh, I'll choose C7 st stack with uh, Eclipse, Eclipse Thea. And I also wanted to change configuration of this workspace by to add one more plugin, SonarLint. It should be added into a plugin as a plugin attribute. It is should be the URI to MetaYAML file, which is described the plugin. As the main uh, block here is uh, extension where we should put ID of VS Code extension, which we can take from the VS Code marketplace. And what we need to do is just put the URI, uh, which is, uh, can be to the GitHub, uh, and add it into to plugin, plugins. And let's start this workspace. Actually, it can take uh, about one minute because we need to pull all images. Also, we need to pull image for this a plugin, which is will be run it in separate container. So I'll sc scroll a bit. Yeah. Here it is. We have Thea IDE, and we can check that uh, our plugin is here by opening uh, plugin view, and we can see that SonarLint plugin is here. Also, we can check how it works by adding simple JS file, uh, add some some word, and we can see that we have some warning ma message from SonarLint here. Well, that's basically it. Yes.
Yes, I did. Well, I have one. Thank you. All right, so I found this Lydek from 2011. No. <laughs> I was trying to find, I have a version of this presentation with nice, um, no, 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 no. I have a version of this version with, with beautiful artwork, so you're going to have to survive with the bad artwork. I'm sorry about that. But one of the things that we've been doing in the last couple of years is a thing called <laughs> the Embedinator 4000. <laughs> now, the Embedinator 4000 is, in my opinion, a beautiful piece of technology. What it does, Embedinator 4000 takes a .NET library. Let's say that you build yourself a .NET application or a library, a .NET standard, doesn't matter. You have your beautiful piece of code, but your boss is super hipster. He's building some Go code, or maybe he's building some Swift code, or he's building some PHP stuff, or you know, he has to do it in real life with another platform. So what we did with the Embedinator is that we take your assemblies, we compile them, and there's a couple of options that you can use. We take your assemblies, we put them on a runtime in front of it, right? And we turn it to a native library that you can consume as if it was a native library. So uh, I just did this on the spot, so I don't have any demo prepared. I just did this on the spot. I think it would, it would be fun to, for you to uh, try out. But essentially, you take your code, you fit it to the Embedinator 4000, and I'm hijacking this logo. And it can generate a number of different APIs. This is an alt slide deck. That's why I, I can't find the, right, the, 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 the current one. But for, and for iOS, it would generate beautiful Objective-C APIs. So we tried to follow all the conventions of Objective-C, the way that the class are declared, the initializers, all the chaining. We can now do that as well for Swift. This slide predates Swift when I, when I, when I did it. Um, and we can generate uh, dynamic frameworks. We can generate static frameworks. Uh, we can generate Java packages, both for desktop and for, um, and for Android. And uh, we can also generate C libraries that can be consumed as is in Linux or can be consumed as is on Windows. So, uh, you know, just another thing, another way of spreading the love that we have for .NET. If you have to use it somewhere else, uh, uh, you can use it there. Now, additionally, and we did a super awesome demo where we embedded uh, some .NET code inside a Kickstarter app, which is written in Swift. So it's just an example. We have all this business logic in .NET. Boom, you deploy it as a framework. Just you drag it into your Swift uh, project. You drop it, and it's part of the project. You get the, all the type definitions strongly typed, and you can use it. The, uh, uh, it's an open source effort. Uh, so you can actually go to, uh, oh, OK, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> you never know what is in that window. I don't know if I want to risk it. Open new window. Oh! Oh, I risked it. OK. <laughs> you know what? It's a good. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, OK. If you Google Embedinator 4000 with four zeros, do not click on the one with three. Do not <laughs> click on that. It is not safe for work. If you click on the one Embedinator 4000, you will get to the right project. I can send you the slides, but you'll be able to start embedding. It has a pluggable architecture, so if we don't support your language, there's a couple of French languages not everybody uses, like Perl and Python and PHP and Java and Ruby or, you know, none of that. No, no, I'm kidding. Um, if you have a French language, you can always add a back into this system and you can bring .NET into your system. As long as you can call into a C library, we're able to provide bindings for you. That is my lightning talk. Thank you so much. I forgot we're hiring, just like my chin's team is hiring, we're also hiring. <laughs> <laughs> Any more lightning talks? Okay. okay. I wish I had slides for Pedro Chan. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we're done today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.